Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Reckonist. Welcome to Football Manager 2022 and how I fixed Manchester United. Yes, this is a very old series I am re bringing back for FM22 where I play as a club, whichever club, I'm not sure, and I will play through it, observe everything I can, look through their squad, or anything of interest I will point out to you. I'll play it for a certain amount of time. It could be six months, it could be a year, it could be two years. I will write down what I did what I did well, what I did badly, and what I would change if I was starting a game again. In fact, what I am going to do is uh, I made extensive notes about what I did on day one. Um, so we'll go back to that. I'll put a little chapter in the, vid in the video YouTube description so you can actually go to it. But um, essentially, we are six months in. You can see that I'm second in the league, and that's because Liverpool have just lost their first game of the season in January against me. Excellent. Yeah, um, I had a bad start thanks to, well, I know exactly why. I was trying to learn too many systems on the go and no familiarity was there. Um, so I lost Liverpool on the opening day and then Chelsea a week later, I think it was. Uh, red card involved in that. But I'm second in the league with a run of form which would be discussed as, well, disgusting if it happened in real life. Just look at the state of that. One loss against Leipzig in the Champions League, but unbeaten since uh, the September the 11th. Oof. Uh, <laughs> since, well, in, in the league, September the 11th, and just straight wins all the way through December and into January. And I'll talk about how I set up the club to do that. Um, hopefully, you won't be revisiting my mistakes, so I'm going to make it really plain exactly what I did. So what I'm going to do now is load up a game on day one. Oh, one other point as well. I'm really proud of. Um, Ronaldo's got 40 goals in January. Pretty cool, right? Okay, yeah, I'm going to load up a game on day one, and I'll talk you through exactly what I did and discuss uh, why that is. Okay, welcome back. So this is a day one of the save on the 5th of July 2021. I have taken over Manchester United and using my extensive notes, which I took, I will talk you through the process and exactly what I did well, what I did badly, what you could do if you want to make different decisions than me. And, you know, hopefully it'll be entertaining, informative and, you know, wonderful. So let's get on it. First thing to notice is uh, the club culture, everything you'd expect there. But one thing is very important, especially for the first transfer window, if it is open, or in fact, any transfer window uh, for a club with this, is sign high reputation players is a very, very useful uh, philosophy as um, I will talk about uh, when we get round to the transfers. Uh, so yeah, that's make a note of that. You have high reputation players and uh, let us go on with the day, shall we? We should immediately go into a staff meeting. Yes, we do. Um, we'll talk about staffing in a moment. Not much to do, but you can improve it quite, um, quite drastically and quite quickly. All right. Okay. So first things first, Mike Phelan barges through the door and says, we must make Ronaldo captain because he's better than Harry Maguire. And I completely agree. Legendary striker, club favorite, club legend, uh, Ballon d'Or winner, all that nonsense. Uh, we'll make him captain, of course. Everything else is pretty much up to your own discretion. It's like switching, um, you know, player traits and, you know, other things like that. And more about staffing, but we'll talk about that as well. So that's the first thing to do is make Cristiano Ronaldo captain. And when the time comes, uh, they'll ask you for, well, they'll say, who are you going to make vice captain? And again, to not... No slight against Harry Maguire, but I think uh, everyone would prefer if Bruno was the actual vice captain. So we've got like, um, you got, well, two Portuguese. You got the captain and vice captain being both Portuguese. And I think when Ronaldo does eventually retire, uh, I think it will go to Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire's leadership is higher than it was last year. I think it was like 15 last year. I think that's right. Um, but yeah, Maguire will be around, of course. Um, but that's that's the first thing to do. Get Ronaldo as captain and keep an eye on the vice captain to see when that comes up. Now, um, squad assessment, as you know, as you know, as of right now, Manchester United have a problem in real life. It's called centre midfield. Um, we won't actually um, address that in the real life right now, but we can 
do that now. So this is what the formation I was using to, which uh, will you'll see the incredible bit of form that we went through. Does it have the personals? It does. Okay, the file which I will make available will have personal instructions set for each player. So if you are taking over um, Manchester United and want to use my exact tactic, I will make this uh, tactic available. Also, it should come with player instructions attached. As you'll see pretty quickly, everybody has player instructions rather than um, just doing a general one. I've done very specific. But this is, if, oops, excuse, there we go. Wrong, wrong thing there. Uh, right, so this is effectively the team which has given me that massive run of great form. Uh, you'll see, first of all, uh, actually, when we get around to that, you'll see, you might have even caught it then. Uh, one point to mention is if you are a big fan of Donny van der Beek and you want to get Donny. Pogba and Bruno in the same squad. You can play Bruno as the right winger. He's actually, he starts off competent there, but I think with a little bit of um, training and things like that, a little bit of experience, you can play him as a right winger if you have issue with um, Greenwood being a right winger or uh, Jaden Sancho is there now. Um, so yeah, it's up to yourself, whichever one you want to do. Uh, but I have not been playing it like that. I have been playing with Bruno there as a shadow striker, yes. And on wide right, I have had Mason Greenwood doing his doing bits really. Um, but you know that's where he would go if I was to play again from the beginning. I would play it like this in this formation on this tactic. Excellent. Now you'll notice that there is one thing missing there. It is a midfielder uh, to partner Paul Pogaspa. I used my knowledge of real life. Um, yeah. All right. So what I did was establish that I needed a central midfielder. Went on to scouting. You can see you get 30 million, which is you could do bits with 30 million, but there is a way around not, you can don't have to spend anything um, effectively because you can get the board to sign people for you because of that high reputation players. You can actually go, excuse me, board. This guy is really important to us, um, or important for us. Could you buy him? Yes, I will. I have tried my hardest to get Frankie de Jong on that, that using that, getting the board to go on. He's 131 to 157. No matter what, I couldn't get it done on the first day. You might have better luck. I don't know, but I tried three or four times. I reloaded each time just to see if it was a luck thing. It just seems... No, uh, the glazes are like, no. So what I did do is uh, have a look around for defensive midfield, also midfielders, sort of holding midfielder um, as well. So what did I do? Um, who have we got here? Okay, I identified several of them. You might want to um, do the same, or maybe you have other ideas of how you want to play. Um, SMS, which is Mil Milinkovic Savic, absolutely great player. Uh, Brozovic, Soler, Neves, uh, Suchek, my favorite, Kevin Phillips, and the guy that I ended up with um, for, you know, for good reason, I think, Declan Rice. Um, that's the guy that I went transfer, make an offer, interact with, board suggest. We agree. Thank you very much, Avram. Now, so again, that happened because we have a culture of signing high reputation players. There is no way I could get him for 30 million, not even a structured deal, I don't think. He ended up going for like 81. I don't know if that's going to happen this time. I don't think we'll go on past the first day, but a holding midfielder for this shape, if you're using this, is my recommendation. Just spend it all on the best possible, which relegates Fred to not even a um, subs position because we use McTominay for that. And that's pretty much the only signing that I made. Bruno is um, as a shadow striker again. I think I'd kind of touch on that. Everybody has their own specific instructions based on them specifically. Uh, I have made observations, done a lot of testing, done a lot of games, uh, did one game on like half speed. So I literally spent 45 minutes watching it. Um, so that's what I've come up with. Set pieces are already done as all, as you'd expect. Cristiano Ronaldo was the focus of all of set pieces. So if you are going to change set, if you are going to use the system and need somebody else for your set piece focus, if you don't want Ronaldo, you're going to have to take care of that. I think all of them are set for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I would do for the players. Get 
uh, midfielder, preferably a holding one, which can free up everybody else in front of you. I went with Rice. You could go wherever you want. Okay. Uh, another point, Ronaldo is quite possibly the best target man in the game. Um, <laughs> I think with jumping reach 17, heading 19, all of, yeah, he, he's literally incredible. I don't know how many headed goals he got. Uh, for me, in the 40 that he got before January, 40 goals, um, you know, but he's fantastic aerially and I had to have him as the focus of the set pieces. What else have I made note of? Okay. Uh, first of all, oh yeah, selling people. Um, big thing in real life as a uh, time of recording is Paul Pogba. He is, um, contract is up. 2020, uh, yeah, the end of the season's contract's up. He's on 300 grand a week. I did math on that. It's like 15 million a year. He's on 15 million pounds per year. Um, it's up to you if you want to um, obviously extend that if it's possible. I don't even know if I can on day one. Yeah, you can. He's interested. Okay, he's interested on day one, but the closer that gets to New Year's Eve, the less interest than he, he gets because that's like the six months where people can bid for him. PSG and Real were all over him in my game. And he decided to make a decision later on in the season. So there is a chance Paul Pogba will go for free, but if he does, I've freed up 15 million in wages and I'm not too bothered. He was the worst of my players. He didn't break, I think he just broke seven average, 7.02 or something like that. Um, so yeah, I played him as a Mazala attack because of, well, his great athleticism and his flair and passing all works pretty well on there. I wasn't particularly, um, impressed with his goal scoring output or his assists, but he was always involved in a move. I did notice that. Um, but who's to say that a replacement won't be just as good as that. But that's up to you, of course. Uh, as to sell people, um, I sold Martial. Got about, yeah, got about 30 million for him. He went to Newcastle, um, which was very nice of him, I thought. Uh, also, in real life, United are getting rid of Jesse Lingard. He's going to be a free transfer as well. I am, you know, reticent to let him go just because he's got so much potential at such a young age. Uh, but <laughs> he's, um, you know, he's never going to get a game, um, unfortunately. One thing I did not, well, because of his versatility, if you are going to play a system with wingbacks, it might be worth looking at retraining him as a wingback. I mean, you'll have a year if you drop him in a sub every so often, but I can't see a future for Jesse Lingard. He should go with our, our compliments. He's nearly 30. Oh, my God. Such potential. Uh, but other than that, I think Juan Mata went off on loan to Leicester. And, yeah, that's pretty much the observations for the first team. As for the youth, the youth, you go into Dev Center, um, you've got some pretty decent players. All of them are attacking midfielders. Three of them are wingers. All of them should be promoted to the first team. Um, Hannibal, Diallo, um, Elanga, and whoever the other one was. Uh, and once you go into training, mentoring, get Cristiano Ronaldo right on the mentoring. He does it automatically. I would also make sure that Diallo and Mason Greenwood are in there. Uh, Mason Greenwood gets less of an effect, but everyone else significant, 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 significant. Wonderful. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can you think of a better, a better tutor? I mean, you know, brilliant. Um, he has like incredible, yeah, these guys developed really well. Um, and the ones that were loaned out, which I ended up loaning out, I think three of them, they did pretty well in like uh, championship and league one. So if you have intentions of loaning them out, you can do that. Um, but I would recommend keeping them all at the club. If you can get at least six months to even a year under Cristiano Ronaldo and see how these guys develop. Um, but these guys, Diallo in particular, I think is the, probably the best of, of these other than Greenwood, of course. Um, and Hannibal, I believe is a similar player to Paul Pogba. Yeah. So he's a similar player to Paul Pogba and um, Paul Pogba's leaving. I don't know how good, in fact, I'm not going to click it. I can click it and find out what his, I'm not going to do it. It's going to be pretty good. Um, you can tell. So he's basically a similar type of player to Paul Pogba and he's Mezala attack as a default best role and duty. So he could literally fly straight into that 4 2 3 one I've created once Pogba goes or if Pogba goes on, the, on a free. Um, so if you are planning on that, if you're like, nope, I'm not going to sign Pogba, it might be an idea to either keep him around or just loan him out to get more match experience if you want to drop him straight in. That's entirely up to you. What am I? Your boss? No. Okay, so 
Hannibal, tailor-made replacement for Pogba. Diallo uh, is good. Uh, Shaw Tire, yeah, I, yeah, he did really well in the championship. Yeah, these are the best players to keep your eye on for development te terms. And, you know, the Dev Center did its job there and basically said, look at these. And I did, and all of them were great. As for the under-18s, it's a little bit weirder. I don't know any of these children. Look at this thing. That's not a, that's not a professional footballer. You mean... He should be doing papers. Frightening. Um, as for, I don't know exactly who the best ones would be here, um, but I haven't played long enough to do that, and I'm resisting the chat. The, I'm resisting doing that, so I don't know. Uh, a couple of points that might be interesting to some of you. Um, where is he? Oh, he must be in the under 23s. Yeah, so a couple of uh, famous kids there. Um, Charlie Savage is Robbie Savage's kiddo. Um, Robbie Savage, father. Is he Macclesfield? Director of football at Macclesfield. What a beautiful lady she is. Um, but yeah, watch that documentary if you've not already about what happened at what's happening at Macclesfield. Another one, Charlie Wellins is Manchester United legend Richie Wellins. I say legend. How many appearances? He must have got a couple. He didn't even get on the pitch, according to this. All right, forget it then. Richie Wellens, that's his son. Um, also, I th find it amusing that um, McShane is applying his trade uh, here. Paul McShane, he's back. He's basically Solskjaer giving his mates and his mates' kids work, isn't it? It's <laughs> quite interesting. But yeah, he's uh, doing his coaching badges at United in real life. Worth, um, you know, so I went sidetracked then. I apologize. All right, what else have we got there? Uh, coaching, right. Uh, yeah, so... You're not going to get much better than Mike Phelan. And if you do, you're going to disrupt um, your squad. He is a great assistant. I kept him for my save. If you have strong feelings other way, by all means, get it. But if the fact that, you know, he's, he's good enough. If you want a, a seamless first season, I recommend keeping hold of him at least. Um, other, you, other things to know. Head of youth is Nick Cox, who's wonderful, as you can tell there. Um, what else did I write there? Coach staff. Okay. Yeah. You've got a combination of director of football. Yes. John Murtaugh. United actually did it. Oh no. Windows updates. Can't look at all. That's fine. Uh, right. So John Murtaugh, very, very interesting, um, that Man United have finally gone ahead and got a director of football. He's good. You know, I think that's fine. Again, negotiating is not, a pr not, not great, but Right now, stability is important. But um, I would take note of Darren Fletcher. He is technical director and coach. He is a coach who doesn't have like a continental B license. He will improve in increments every license he goes up. He will become one of the best coaches in the game. I'm fairly confident of that. Over a long enough period of time, he will take his badges and become a great coach. Keeping him around as technical director, I only for nostalgia or loyalty's sake, but he's not a great technical director and you can't fire him from one job. Actually, let's try and offer him a coaching job just on its own and see what happens. I don't, you don't need a secondary job, mate. Uh, none. Is he interested? You know, he, he, yeah, he definitely wants to stay technical director. So that's up to you. Um, but keep him around. And if the chance comes, get him just as a coach. But if he won't go and wants to stay technical director slash coach and he's the world's best coach, keep him. Um, that's my suggestion. Yeah, United, look at all the scouts. I'm not even going to talk about that. That's absurd. Uh, an absurd number of scouts because United does have the best scouting network in the country. Um, this is known and Football Manager agrees. Um, yeah, no, 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 nothing particular about the medical staff. Uh, or under 23s, or the youngsters. It's, it's, you know, I can't really go into details there. It's up to your own, your own fault. It's not going to be much of a, a huge difference in season one, but obviously long term, it could have great effect on your players. But just get the best you can in the positions you have uh, manually would be my suggestion. What else did I did? Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, that was an interesting point I made. Fred could be part exchanged with Declan Rice. But to do that, you'd have to bid for Rice and include Fred, which means you wouldn't be able to request the board just to buy Rice. Uh, what would happen is you can you buy uh, Declan Rice off West Ham and then offer Pogba out, and uh, sorry, offer Fred out. And guess what? West Ham have got a lot more money in the bank, around 80 million. So they actually 
could be interested in Fred. If you want to go about it a different way, uh, maybe structure a deal towards Rice, you can do that using Fred um, because he, you know, he, he 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 nearly went to West Ham on my save, so I reckon he could do it again. All right, did I make any more notes here? I did not. Those are effectively my day one recommendations for Manchester United. It's how I fix them. And let's go back to our save so we can just have a look at how this all developed. And welcome back. Okay, well, first of all, let's just take a look at some player stats, see how our individuals were doing. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong thing. That's completely the wrong thing. What am I doing? Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo's on 40 goals. Um, as of I don't think I've ever seen it that high. Just over, like, literally just over halfway through the season. I have no idea how far he can go. Um, you know, before I release the video, I'll, tr well, I'll try and finish the season before I finish the video and I'll leave it in there. But ultimately, 40 goals in this system is wonderful. 7.98, 12 assists for Bruno. Um, yeah. 12 man of the matches. Declan Rice is a bit dirty. Uh, Pogba and Rice have been sent off. Um, let's have a, actually, let's have a look at some team stats so you can give us how we compare using this. Remember, I didn't just use this system right at the start. I tried to develop three systems at once. Again, ignoring my own, I mean, what I preach. I don't practice it sometimes. I always forget. Um, so hang on, what was I doing? Oh yeah, Premier League. Um, yeah, look at the league table and then we'll go on to... Uh, team overview. There we go. Okay, so the most goals. Manchester United, we have the most goals. No surprises there. Interestingly, we have 56 goals um, in the league. And How many has Ronaldo scored in the league itself? Let's double check that. He scored 27. So he scored nearly half of our goals. And it's a large amount as well. So, you know, he's, he's, you need to look after him. You've got a wonderful backup with uh, Edison Cavani, of course. Um, is a different type of player, so he has a different role in the system. Um, yeah, other things to make notes of: most points per game, of course. Shots, second in the shots, uh, third in the f yeah, third against and dribbles. That's not going to be us. Tackles, clean sheets, third and fewest conceded third. So we're scoring a lot more than we concede in, and our goal difference is really good. Uh, form is the same as City and I. Haha, ha, one, 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 one. But Liverpool lost against us. Woohoo! Seventeen games unbeaten in the league. Um, that's great. Net transfer spend 72.51. I guess that's the price of um, Declan Rice. Average attendance, of course. Uh, player overview. Most goals, Cristiano Ronaldo by a significant margin over Raul Jimenez. 14. Wow. And Bruno's on the page as well. But 27 goals from Ronaldo. One an hour. <laughs> that's quite ridiculous, isn't it? Ronaldo is just insta win uh, at, at this game. This is the first season and the second season, uh, he's great. I've seen him win the Ballon d'Or in the second season on uh, one of my other saves as well, so he's great. Um, expected goals, 19. He's performing better than his XG. Uh, team goals, Pogba's been involved. I told you Pogba was pretty much involved in everything. So is Ronaldo, 56. Uh, yeah, 1.48 goals per game. That's out, outrageous. Uh, yeah, so that's ridiculous. Um, most shots, Ronaldo. Man of the match, Ronaldo. Key passes, Luke Shaw. Why? Luke Shaw's taking my all of my set pieces, I believe. Um, obviously, it's up to yourself. I, I prefer the left footers on the right side and the right footers on the left side, of course. That includes corners and free kicks. Aaron Wambasaka has what the most tackles in the Premier League. Uh, with his tackling of 20, our high defensive line and lots of covering, um, that explains it, really. He's so fast. The recovery tackle, he's the best thing. Um, probably the best at that in the game. He's so fast. Um, but, you know, he doesn't provide very much going forward. Um, assist five. Yeah, but, you know, 7.44 Champions League, 7.37 Premier League average rating is good. Um, good enough for that, of course. But yeah, I think that pretty much is all the information you would need. Um, I will make this file available on the Patreon page, and I'll put some sort of link down below in the description on the YouTube video. But there we are. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any particular questions, by all means, ask them. Um, that's what I'm here for. You can put it in the, con uh, the comments section down below, or meet us on the Discord or the Twitch channel, should you catch me when I'm live. I stream three times a week, if you've not already joined me why not click on the links down there click follow and get alerted when i go live uh discord of course um but yeah if who should i man who should i do next in fact what i will do is 
ask the patrons. Yeah, people on Patreon will have a chance to um, put their input on which team I should do this with next. Um, but I think, you know, that's pretty much covering everything that I would do again. Um, I can't play the game for you, but I can try my best to make it as easy as possible for you to play like I did um, or better than I did. Hopefully focusing just on one system at the start would be the best thing to do. Yeah, that's the, again, again, I don't practice what I preach. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching everybody. Um, take care. I will see you next time.